now here uh, there is one important uh, topic concerning corona virus that is uh, the villain of the disease the super tolerant species that's uh, bats bats are uh, flying mammals from the order chiroptera about 20% of mammal species belong to bats only about 1200 species exist in the world about 137 viruses live in the bodies of bats out of the 61 viruses in bats are zoonotics that means they are transmitted to human beings to cause different kinds of diseases next one is how these uh, bats got a super tolerance what are the different uh, reasons different uh, inbuilt properties of the bats their population structure their food habits daily movements torpor hibernation life span roosting sting antibodies temperature migration flying these are the properties which made them super tolerant species against different kinds of viruses population because of their heterogeneous population very high genetic diversity is there that makes the species to survive and uh, fight against virus their food habits they eat insects fruits nectar pollen small mammals birds lizards frogs fish even blood of vertebrates these variations make them to survive despite having so many viruses in their bodies daily movements increase contacts among bats that's why they have so many viruses torpor property bats enter in activity for just a few hours to save energy during a cold day here a congregation may happen and also high temperature and uh, their resistance against viruses increase next one hiber hibernation that is during winter rest these things are the properties which make them uh, survive in different situations despite having so many viruses their life span is about 16 to 40 years though they are very small in size their uh, life span is very high so virus can't eradicate this species the roosting they congregate in big numbers and ex exchange different kinds of virus strains sting that is a stimulator of interferon genes sting means stimulator interferon genes they are less active in bats so less inflammation against virus diseases so that's why they can reserve many diseases each uh, bat can be a host for many virus particles or many virus strains and uh, antibodies they pro fast production of antibodies against viral infections make them tolerant they raise temperature during flying uh, it gives tolerance against viral fevers up to 40 degree celsius temperature they raise so the mild fevers can't disturb or harm the bats migration uh, during uh, different seasons are more survival as they escape unfavorable conditions is flying again high temperature to tolerate fever so these are the characteristic features of bats that make them a super tolerant against viruses but reserve wires to transmit diseases to other vertebrates next one is about virome 
here we study baltimore classification numbers and types what is viro assemblage of viruses so assemblage of different viruses in each bat so baltimore classification has a seven types of viruses all these seven types exist in a bats the double stranded dna single stranded dna double stranded rna positive sense single stranded rna negative sense single stranded rna positive sense single stranded rna through our dna replication double stranded dna through single stranded rna replication these seven kinds of viruses all these seven kinds they exist in a bats there are totally 137 kinds of viruses in bats out of that 61 are zoonotic viruses which cause diseases in human beings but majority of viruses in bats are rna viruses types some types some common types are lisa viruses that is rabies virus corona viruses mers sars filo viruses like ebola marburg fruit bats have nipa virus uh, henipa viruses meningitis tayamon viruses hendra these are the common viruses some common viruses we find among bats so how virus transmission occur one bat may have many kinds of viruses so only virus which is dangerous to bats is rabies rabies is dangerous both to bats bats may bats may die and it is dangerous to human beings also only virus that is transmitted to human beings through biting is rabies virus so here bats may bite dogs foxes through that uh, that might be transmitted to human beings and to other animals the spill over of a virus occurs through guano that is excreta of bats urine saliva and other intermediate hosts despite all these uh, harmful effects bats are the one of the biggest pollinators they are resulting in a formation of fruits and grains they are useful in biological control of insect pests guano is used as a fertilizer they are you know the most important components of ecosystem they are meant for ecological balance that's why don't disturb bats and don't be disturbed so conservation of nature and uh, forest won't disturb them and we we also won't be disturbed